Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial I will show how we can create this kind of VFX videos in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video useful and without any further delay let's start today's video. So here I am using this FSpy application which is used to get the camera perspective and here I will be using this footage from Pixels so I got this footage from Pixels I will leave a link in the description if you want to use the same. So let's come to the starting frame here and if you are using VLC player go to this video take snapshot so we need to have an image here so for spy we need to use image or else you can use any editing software to get a single image frame as an image so now let's load that image onto this spy so let's come to this drag and drop it onto this spy here so now here we got these two vanishing points and vanishing point axis so second one I will change this to Z axis now let's place this axis here so first of all let's select this x axis so red, red line is x axis hold shift key to zoom in and here i will place this at this position corner and next x axis i will place on this fence so let's select this one let's place this here you can see the fence right i will place that and also let's place it here so we got the x axis now let's place the y axis so let's select this and let's place it at the corner of this building hold shift key okay again let's select this one and let's place this at this corner and let's place this one also here so now we can see we got that x and y axis set now come to this 3d grid and let's add xy grid floor so now let's place it here and let's save this one so go to this file save so I will save and download only. I will give it as a random number double one double two. Now let's close this FSpy. Now open Blender. Now we need to load that FSpy data. So go to this file, import, select this FSpy. And by the way, if you're not finding this FSpy add-on, here I will leave a link in the description in order to check a video where I have explained how to download and install this FSpy add-on. Or else you can click on the i card above to get the video. So here I will load the data. So select this FSpy it is in downloads let's select the data and import so you can see we got the data camera along with the image now let's select the camera come to this camera options expand this background images so here we are using movie clip right let's change this to movie clip open and let's load our clip here so we got the clip let's increase the opacity to one nice so now we got the camera perspective here now let's model this frame so now let's model this frame here so here i will be using a cube so go to this add mesh select a cube here press s and reduce the scaling let's zoom in so let's place this let's place this here press s and reduce the scaling so here i'm trying to match the size of this frame with this mesh so here if you observe this frame is not with equal radius so here we got this inner radius bit less and outer radius will be more so let's model our cube accordingly so now let's enable this x-ray vision press tab key for edit mode so let's change this to edge selection let's select this edge and let's move this here inside so i am trying to match with this inner radius so I think this is now let's select this cube and let's match this with this now let's select this outer one and let's place this here so if I come out of this camera and let's disable this extra vision so here we got this kind of shape okay so frame will be like this only so now let's change this to face selection now let's select the top face now again press 0 to see through camera and let's expand this in Z axis till here. So let's change this to extra vision. So here you can see the distance is matching perfectly. So now let's select only this edge, change this to edge selection, only select this edge, press 0 once again and let's bring this edge here so that it matches to this corner now again change this to face selection select this face and extrude in x-axis so press e x and extrude in x-axis now let's move on to camera vision so press 0 
Now let's bring this here and let's expand to this frame. Okay. So these edges are matching. So now let's again come out of this camera. So let's select this, change this to edge selection, only select this edge, bring this here. So here you can see, let's change this. So here you can see we got this frame shape, right? So in this way also we need to match the frame. So press zero once again. So let's change this to wireframe. So here you can see this is not matching. So let's change this to face selection and bring it downward so that it matches. Okay. So now let's select this face. I think, yeah, this is fine. Now press E and Z. So press E, Z and extrude in Z axis. Now you can press zero to see through camera. And let's bring it downward. So I think this much is fine. Now press S, Z and let's bring it even. And for this face also, let's change this to vertex mode and let's bring it downward. Okay. So here we got the shape and I think this is looking fine. Now let's disable this X-ray vision. So still we are in edit mode, right? So let's change this to object mode. So here we have built the basic structure. So now we need to track this one. So press N on the keyboard. So here I am using this Geo Tracker. So click on this Geo Tracker. Create new Geo Tracker. So clip we need to select the footage once again. So open. And let's select the footage. So this is the footage. Load clip. Footage will be loaded. And in the place of this geometry, we got this model which is cube. And in camera, we got the FSPI data. So this is loaded already. After that, click on the analyze button. Here, I got this reanalyze option because I have analyzed this footage already. So for you, it may be analyze option. So click on the analyze option and it will ask for frames. So here, I will be leaving this to 1 to 236 and hit OK. Let's OK. So here you can see the analyzing is started and it may take some time. So here this analyzing is done. So first of all, let me save the project. So file, save. So now file is saved. So now come to this camera options, change this to camera. Enable the start pin mode. So as soon as I change this to enable start pin mode, you can see we got this green border lines, which matches our geometry, right? So now come to this track forward option and simply click on that. So it will track the footage and gives us some tracking points. So here the tracking is done and we got some track points here. So now click on this exit pin mode. So now we got our footage tracked. So now press N on the keyboard to close this. So now we can model our cradle inside the structure. So just come out of this camera. Now let's select this structure. So now let's model the cradle. So let's start this by using a cylinder. So go to this add mesh. Select a cylinder, press S and reduce the scaling. So here I will be modeling this quickly. So now first let's bring this here. So now let's change this anchor point to this position. So press tab key for edit mode. Let's select this above vertices. Shift S and cursor to select it. So you can see we got the cursor here and go to this object set origin origin to 3d geometry now we got that point now let's rotate this bit here so come to this object properties and i think we need to rotate in x-axis so let's change this to minus 9 let's duplicate this one so i think we can still reduce the thickness right so press s and reduce this thickness s z and increase the scaling here now let's duplicate this one shift d and let's change another one to plus nine okay so now we got this two so select both these cylinders shift d press x and let's place them here so this will be the supporting for our cradle chair so i think this much is fine now let's go to this add mesh select a cube here press s reduce the scaling here first let's bring it down s z Let's apply the scaling, object, scale, apply, apply scale. 
let's apply bevel modifier so go to modifier options add modifier generate bevel and let's get the amount here so i think yeah this much is fine let's apply this modifier so i think this is fine now let's add another cylinder so go to this add mesh cylinder ry90 press s reduce the scaling Now let's do get this one shift D and press S and increase the scaling. So here we got the cradle model. Now let's import teddy bear. So here I will be using this blender kit to get the model. So here I will look for teddy and here I will be using this model. Simply click on this model, it will be loaded. So here you can see we got the model. So let's select the axis let's place it here this is rotated so let's rotate this in this way so let's rotate it here okay let's reduce the scaling a bit press s so i think this much is fine now let's move it x axis so i think this is fine so now let's parent everything to an empty before do that let's select this bar hold object origin origin to geometry shift s so now let's add an empty so go to this add empty i will be using cube once again so let's reduce the scaling okay so now we need to parent everything here the cradle objects everything to this empty so let's select everything so i will leave these objects here so hold shift key and select this this one object and this one this one and at last select this empty so this empty should be in orange color after that control p and select this object keep transform so now we can control this cradle so if i rotate this empty whole cradle will be rotated so let's do the animation so beyond the first frame let's come to this object properties let's change this to zero first let's change this to minus nine i think let's make it minus ten so i think this much is fine now add a keyframe for this x rotation let's lock this y rotation and z rotation let's add a keyframe to this x rotation move 40 frames forward in timeline and let's change this to plus 10 and now add a keyframe now we can move 80 frames forward and change this to minus 10 and add a keyframe so now we need to make this as a loop throughout the timeline so for that select all the keyframes here shift e and select it make side click so now we will have this animation throughout the timeline so here this fps is only 5 fps right? that's why it is not getting this clear motion so once this is rendered we will have the fine animation so we got this animation ready so now we have pressed 0 on the keyboard so now let's move on to this render viewport here so click on this render viewport so here the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so let's add hdra so for hdra also i will be using this uh, blender kit only so select this hdra and here we will get hdra so from here i think this will match the scene so simply click on that and okay so here you can see we got light in the scene let's close this one now come to this render settings here let's enable this ambient occlusion and let me change this distance to one enable the screen space reflections and refractions also now scroll down come to this film option and enable this transparent so now we got our footage so now we need to hide out this model this frame rate we need to hide out in renders so for that let's add material so come to this material properties add new material so by default we will get the principal bsdf now come to the surface options and change this to holdout so now you can see we got the actual frame visible as soon as we applied this holdout material okay so now you can see we got our animation done properly so now let's add materials onto this cradle also so let's move on to this material viewport let's come out of this camera let's select this base for this i will apply wood so for this also i will be using blender kit i press materials and search for wood So 
so here we got the materials applied so now let's move on to the slender viewports press 0 to see through camera so now we can add area light to get some brightness onto this model so go to this add light area light and power i will increase this to 250 now this is too much so let's reduce this to 25 and let's rotate this here so that it's facing the model okay so let it be here and let's increase this to 50 so now we got some light in the scene so now if i play this our model will be looking a bit bright so i think we need to bring this whole model at the center so let's select the empty and let's push it so i think i need to parent these models also so in order to move this whole scene so let's select this last ctrl p and make it keep transform so here if i see through camera you can see this is not at the center so let's select the empty and let's move it at the center so i think yeah this is good and also i need to change the material of these things so now we got some light in the scene and i changed the materials also so now i will show you how to render this out so come to this render options so render engine change it to cycles and select this gpu compute and maximum samples i will change this to 32 so if you want to have maximum samples you can do that but my system doesn't support maximum number and noise threshold also i will reduce this to 0.21 so that it will render a bit fast and light paths if you want to reduce you can do that so come to this light path options total this is 12 i will change this to 6 and i will reduce this to 6 so all this is to reduce the render time so if you can spend much time you can leave it as default so i think this much is fine and come to this color management and change this view transform to standard so that we get the true colors of the footage okay after that come to this render output properties so here by default resolution is full hd i will leave this to full hd only enable this render to region crop to render region and frame rate we need to match with the footage frame rate so here if i check the footage frame rate so if i check this footage right click properties so here the frame rate is of 30 so i will change this to 30 so let's change this to 30 fps and frame start and end 1 to 2 36 is fine so here we need to select the output folder where we can save this sequence so i will select a folder quickly the output folder is selected and file format let it be png and make sure this rgba is selected or else we won't get that alpha channel and once this is done just come to this render and click on this render animation so this renders in png sequence and after that we will be using adobe after effects or any editing software to do the compositing so here i will show a single frame so let's come to the starting frame here so that you get some idea how this will render so now we are on the first frame right so now let's go to this render and render image i will render a single image so here i have rendered a single frame and you can say it took almost two minutes for this single frame to render the two for 32 samples okay so let's save this one and i will show you how to do compositing in after effect so let's save this and save as and certain and save as image okay now we are in after effects and i have loaded the footage now let me drop this single rendered frame so i will drop this just about to footage and now you can see we got this perfectly aligned so after rendering that animation we will get the png sequence which will be an animation file so after that you can do this color correction or you can use any effects you like and we can do the compositing so in this way we can create this kind of vfx videos in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye